After taking oath as Minister of Education and Higher Education yesterday, Dr. Vijay Dasa Rajapaksha visited the Ganga Rama Temple, Hunupitiya, this morning and engaged in religious observances. <laughs> I informed everyone. A lot of harmful things were done by the previous government and we have the responsibility to rectify them. This is exactly what was done on the 9th of January in 2015. When the president appointed Ranil Vikram Singh as Prime Minister, he only had 41 in Parliament. The then Prime Minister DM Jayaratna had a majority of 162 in Parliament representing the UPFA. The same thing was done by the president this time. If someone says this appointment is illegal, what was done on the 9th of January was far worse. They have to decide if they have the majority by tabling a bill in parliament. Voters didn't cry or make an issue of this appointment. Taking an impartial view of things, we believe that the people were scared and suffered under the unity government. They should think as to whether they treated people well. In other countries, if a government which came to power on the back of a majority public vote is toppled, people rise up against it. But we didn't see anything of the sort in this instance. <laughs> In the meantime, a media briefing was convened today with the participation of members of the UMP who crossed over the interim government. Addressing it, Minister Dr. Vijayadasa Rajapaksha said the constitution indirectly suggests the president has provisions to dissolve the parliament. We have issues in parliament about the majority. One is... What can be done if a no-confidence motion is brought against the Prime Minister or the government? The second is the budget. An interim budget can be defeated and if that happens, the President has no option but to dissolve the Parliament. I think what the UPFA wants is to get the Parliament dissolved. Therefore, even they might vote against this. If the Parliament is dissolved, we will hold an election within two months. If the President finds it difficult to continue the government, he has the right to take a decision under the inherent powers of the Constitution. If the executive can't rule the country, there's no option other than to dissolve the parliament. If a two-thirds majority can be obtained, the president can dissolve the parliament. If the president can't continue with the parliament, there are indirect provisions in the constitution that allows him to dissolve it.